When Bidenomics takes its toll, just put Fruit Loops in your bowl. <laughs> According to the latest data from USDA, Americans are spending the highest share on their income on food in 30 years. It's true. Earlier today, I put a down payment on a jar of Fluffernutter. I like those. But it's not funny. Food prices are out of control, which can only mean one thing. The ladies of The View are on the verge of bankruptcy. <laughs> so what are consumers to do? Other than vote Republican, that is. Mm. Mm. The answer is simple. According to Kellogg's CEO, Gary Pilnick, eat cereal for dinner. The cereal category has always been quite affordable, and it tends to be a great destination when consumers are under pressure. So we're advertising about cereal for dinner. If you think about the cost of cereal for a family versus what they might otherwise do, that's going to be much more affordable. I'm all for innovation and marketing, but the idea of having cereal for dinner, um, is there the potential for that to land the wrong way? Uh, we don't think so. In fact, it's landing really well right now, Carl. Yeah. It landed as well as a Malaysian jetliner. Yeah. Still don't know where it went. Yeah, or the Argue with me. Francis head. Oh. But I guess breakfast is the most important meal of the day, especially when it's the only one you can afford. The good news is President Biden can relate. He's been eating dinner with a bowl and a spoon for years. <laughs> Cat uh, A, do you think this, that CEO is having uh, cereal for dinner? And B, would, if you came home to a guy who's serving cereal for dinner. <laughs> How quickly would you leave him? Maximum two years. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Because <laughs> it's true. Yeah. You'd be actually, oh, you made it you yeah, I mean, for yeah, me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think it was too honest. <laughs> Uh, look, this guy thinks I'm having a bad day. Um, because, okay, because obviously he's not eating cereal for dinner, and just the way he was so, he really thought he had something there. Yes. He was like, listen, you might be poor. Uh, that sucks, but you can have cereal for dinner, and then the money that you do have, I get that. So, <laughs> it's a win-win for everybody. Uh, and the fact that, like, did he not run it by anybody? Yeah, yeah. Or, or did he? And he was like, no, you don't know. It's going to be good. It's yeah. going to be good because I'm the cereal guy. I would, love, I would love to see the guy who sells WD-40. You know, you're not doing well. You could have oil for dinner. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you ever? You just, I keep going back. Can we punch that back up? Yeah. The fake chart in the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's talking about the idea of having cereal for breakfast, which means it hasn't, or for dinner, it hasn't happened yet, but yet he had behind him the projections. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Your money in your house is going to go through the roof. Yeah. And apparently, the C all the CEOs, I'm starting to think, are all method actors. Oh, it's up in the small one. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Kellogg's earnings there we go. the third yeah. quarter. So yeah, it goes up. Yeah. Stocks are up if yeah. you eat cereal at night. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, all your extra money is going to go to insulin. So <laughs> see, these CEOs, they don't watch TV. Mm -hmm. You didn't see the Bud Light CEO. Yeah. No more talking CEOs. Yeah. Like, yeah. As, yeah. Soon as, like, as soon as you open your mouth, yeah. you know, like all of them, I think what we, we need, this is the only thing I will allow grouping. Previous segment, I'm anti-grouping. I'm going to flip-flop a little bit and pivot, <laughs> which everybody hates. But we will group CFOs together, and the name of their group is Yeah. Like, that's, <laughs> that's, we just bring them all together. <laughs> Whenever they come on TV, at the bottom of the screen goes, ladies and gentlemen, pay no attention, <laughs> Mikey, <Yeah. laughs> as a spy, you must have had some interesting meals on the fly. Yeah. Has it ever justified cereal for dinner? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Look, um, you know, I've got, you know, three boys at home. We've got every one of those cereal <laughs> brands in the pantry. Yeah. Seriously, we go through a ton of cereal. 
And uh, got a pantry. And, and the safe houses, they used to stock the safe houses with cereal too, uh -huh. because it would last, right? Yeah. And, and, and you know, so when yeah. you got cereal, did was the prize I was like excited. nunchucks? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh no, it would be like it would be like a secret Dakota ring. <laughs> um, you know, sometimes it was uh, it was a new cloth for waterboarding. You never knew what you were going to get <laughs> out of the cereal box. Oh. And we loved it. Yeah, it yeah. must have been easy to buy things for you for Christmas. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> it still is, in case you're wondering. Yeah. yeah. KT, uh, we're kind of in a bad place yeah. where we're telling people to eat cereal for dinner. We shouldn't even be eating cereal for breakfast. It's the most <laughs> unhealthy stuff there is. Have you yeah. ever looked at the sugar content on this yes. stuff? Yes. I mean, it causes insulin resistance. It's setting them all up for diabetes when little kids eat it. Mm. And guess what? The Kellogg stuff is the worst of the bunch. Mm. It has more sugar than any other breakfast cereal. Wow. Plus, I mean, the guy, he is worth $20 million. Mm -hmm. And he's telling everybody, oh, if you're poor, don't worry, have Fruit Loops for dinner. Yeah. Well, there goes our Kellogg sponsorship. Yeah. <laughs> By you the way. Tank that wait, one. wait. I wait. love Captain Crunch. Put, it, put that chart behind you <laughs> and Gutfeld making fun of Kellogg's has driven the stock up. <laughs> I'm just going to put that thing behind me whenever I have an argument. Yeah, yeah. I've already crunched the numbers. Whatever I'm about to Ooh, say crunch. is winning. You know what's a, a cinnamon toast crunch? Oh, oh that's, that's so good. Yeah, that is Coming so good. up, Joy Reid comes unglued in the ramblings she spewed. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.